Well, it's been many years, and like so many of our releases this year, Eternals was uh, was delayed. But uh, as I've been saying, uh, good things come to those who wait. And this one really, we've had a number of Phase 4 projects come out this year. This really represents what we were working towards as we were finishing up Endgame. Chloe came in and pitched this story to us as we were doing the final touches on Endgame. And I was doing soul searching about the future of the MCU and where we take it. And Nate Moore, our producer on this movie, really had a belief in Jack Kirby's vision of Eternals in bringing it to the screen in a new way, in a unique way. We always wanted to do a movie that spanned millennia and focused on a character of immortals that have lived amongst us. And Eternals seemed like the greatest way to do that. And it was when Nate brought in Chloe that we really decided we have to make this movie. And I couldn't be more excited as I always am here staying on a carpet uh, for the world uh, to uh, see it. Chloe had a vision for this going back many years and a big aspect of that was IMAX, big giant screen with a crowd, shot on actual locations, an amazing mixture of visual effects and practical effects. And her vision is to be, for this to be seen as big as possible. And I'm about to see it on the biggest screen I've ever seen it on, with the biggest crowd I've ever seen it, and I can't wait. There, there, there are lots, as with all of the MCU movies, there are surprises, there are twists, there are things you should stay till the very end to see. What I'm most excited about, though, is the audience finally meeting these ten Eternals that they've seen on posters around the world. They finally get to meet them in this movie, and we get to know all of them. And, uh, and I love people debating who their favorite is.